what's going on guys welcome back to the channel well i'm still on the road and look where i'm at we made it to three mississippi this right here is mike's first time first time i'm excited to meet everybody really hello hello we made it Hey, look at the puppies. Three hours late. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Uh, what's up, Superstar? What's up? <laughs> hey, Mike. What's up? What's up? What's, what's going, going on? on? Mike? Hey, nice to meet you, big Mike. Good to meet you, man. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh. Frankie, <laughs> nice to meet you. You too. This is a wonderful hey, place you guys got here. Thank this, you. This is a little slice of heaven in Mississippi. I heard y'all went down to the uh, less than heaven, Mississippi. Yeah, they definitely went in heaven. Yeah, it you was... know that other place? Yeah, that's where we that's were. Where you, <laughs> out, you got lost. And... I mean, we went too far off. What about 110 miles away? Yeah, guys. Whenever we left Tennessee, y'all seen in the last video, I was at Ridge Life's place. We left Tennessee. We had this real great lunch. We pulled it up on the map. I had Tim kind of looking at it. Oh yeah, go right down the interstate. We went almost two hours out of the way, and it's the exact same name of the road, everything. Yeah. And man, it was some Texas Chainsaw Massacre stuff, guys. <laughs> it took us to the middle of a road with a big ravine, like way down with no signal, no nothing. I had to go ahead and make sure I knew where my pew pew was. I <laughs> made my booty pucker up a little, little bit. I ain't even gonna lie to you. And then once we finally got service again and I got the right address in there, we was almost two hours away. We were supposed to be here two hours ago. Mike had to put the stakes on hold. That's Sorry, all right. brother. That's <laughs> Sorry. All right. It's all good. You got here before dark. Yep. Yeah. If you'd have been down there after dark, <laughs> yeah. you, you, you wouldn't ever. have made it. I don't know. I know everybody says that I can't shoot straight, but trust me, I can. <laughs> close range. Yeah, close range. Close range. At close range behind me when I'm running away. Yeah. Hey, if nothing else, at least a little cover fire. That's right. <laughs> nothing else. That's right. So there is a reason that I am here hanging out with these guys. This is my third trip. It is. Third trip. I might be. I think you're down here so I can teach you how to cook. That's what I think. I think it is. Or Frankie can teach you how to shoot. Well, well that's what I was thinking. I thought he was here to get shooting lessons. Yeah. Well, Frankie. what I... What, I can give you some if you want. I, I might need them. <laughs> I, especially if I end up in that part of Mississippi again. <laughs> no doubt. I think what we really need to do is load the grills up and head to Tennessee and go visit Tim and teach him how to grill. Oh. <laughs> because when he came to my place, I fed him and I fed him well. And when I went to his place, he took us out to eat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but I will say it was some good food. It was some good That's food. That's because he lives and, in a van down by the river. Yeah, <laughs> and I love you, Tim. But I did tell him that I think he's scared to grill because it's me. You know, and everybody knows I can throw down. Come on. And I told him, I said, but old Mike here, Mike wasn't scared. And he's knocked it out the park the first two times I've came here. And he's going to do it again, and I, I'm fully confident. So no pressure. No pressure. No pressure. No pressure. Hey, he might not be able to run a tractor, but that boy can run that grill. Come on. <laughs> hey, I don't need to be able to run a tractor. I got a tractor operator right here. Exactly. And I don't need to be able to shoot because she'll get the deer, and I'll just come and get some. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can cook it up. That's yeah, all and I need. cook it up. Hey. She kills the deer. I cook them. Yep. She runs the tractor. I tell her what to get done. She you gets film it. Done. it. <laughs> yeah, you, right. you could pay for the diesel. That's or, right. Or the gas. Yeah. Yep. yep. That's true. You could pay for my hours. There is another reason we're here, guys. Another reason? Do tell. Yeah. <laughs> you don't say, sir. So, me and this guy right here, we was uh, talking when he first got here. Um, he got tired of hearing me and Tim, you know, bicker like old nannies, you know, about tractors or whatever. Well, he went and bought two. I did. Tractors. I got two Ford tractors. Yeah. Only one of them was supposed to run. Yep. The other one was supposed to be parts. Yep. But the only thing that was wrong with it was it had a flat tire. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> yeah, exactly. And some old actual tires. But... Yeah. And the funny thing is, is they're two blue tractors. Yes, Tim. They're real blue tractors. They're not like a Capri or nothing like that, a knockoff. It's Capri. a Ford tractor. And so I told him, 
the day he got them. But if he ever decided to let the other one leave the property, I know a property where it could go. And then the last time I visited, we talked again. And he said, well, what would that look like? How would we get it to come on mountain? Right. And I said, well, you call me, you tell me. I hooked to my trailer and I end up in Mississippi. I wouldn't plan on ending up in that Mississippi. <laughs> <laughs> but. <laughs> so hold on, hold on, hold on. So what you're telling me is we're here to pick up a blue tractor? Yes, we are. What? Because, I thought y'all were here for steaks. I'm well, here for the steaks. That's okay. an added bonus. So basically, I've been listening to Tim for the last couple of months talk about this blue tractor and how it's all great and how you run it. So I decided to get a blue tractor and show him how to run it. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, that's what we're here to do. Let's go check out the blue tractor. Let's check it out. Woo! Look at there, an authentic blue Ford tractor. I love it. Funny story is, um, the very first tractor I ever owned was an old Ford 8N that I actually restored. And, uh, so I love Ford tractors. Ford tractors are my favorite, favorite tractor. So when they got this tractor and didn't know what they was gonna do with it quite yet, I am so glad that they kept me in mind whenever they decided to use the other one and not this one, because now it's coming to come on mountain and it's definitely gonna get used. And look at these new shoes, guys. Woo, come Man. on with some new shoes on Still the mountain. with the nipples on that joke. Boy, I bet you if you pop the clutch on this sucker right here, boy, you be catwalking now, come on. <laughs> And the Ford 3000 too. Yep, let's see here. Now, I've, first time that I've actually took a really good look at this thing, so let's see if I can figure out how to crank it. We got the PTO. Nope. 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 It's in neutral. Woo! Woo! And fired right up.
<laughs> yeah, well, you know, I ain't never been too good with that there is a location. <laughs> we need to figure out. Uh, maybe we can spray some wood. Yeah. Oh, it'll go back in. <laughs> she said that too. Uh, no. <laughs> I'll grease it up whenever I get home. Yeah. I'm going to go through the whole thing. See if it'll anyway. start. I don't think it'll start until that pushes in. I don't think it will. Yeah, it's we we got to get that to push in. That's that kill. It just shuts the fuel off is all it does. Hey, Frankie, go grab me that tri flow would you? Yeah. Man, that's I'll get a triple nice when I'm editing later. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you'll have to oh, yeah, you'll be giggling. Second. When you edit this one, you'll be giggling. I will. <laughs> Mike, uh, throw me those chains and those, uh, chains. Hey, you got the other, uh, uh, cotter, uh, I got it in my pocket. What do you mean you forgot the chains? I know I didn't forget the chains. <laughs> well, hey, why don't you toss me that or else we'll forget. Hey, uh, oh, yeah, the pen. Yeah, the key. Look what I found, uh. Oh, never mind. It's actually in the middle on the ground right there. I threw it on the ground in the middle. See it? No. It's no. blending in with the rocks. Oh, there it is. It's behind David's ear. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I was about to say, that old Mike will mess away at Dream Wars if you I like that, Mike. That was good. <laughs> We're like, no one. Well, hey. All right, guys, we got her strapped down. We're gonna need some air in the old tire after we strapped her down a little bit. Probably gonna end up going ahead and putting some new tires on her. Uh, these tires right here might be as old as I am. You never know. It could be as old as that tractor. Yeah. I don't know. But I got her strapped down pretty good with the chains. By the time I get off uh, Mike and them's dirt road right here, might loosen up a little bit. I'll just stop and check it before we actually get on the road. She looks good up on the trailer though, Mike. Oh yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing uh, some of the projects she does up on Come On Mountain. There's a long list of them. Man, I cannot believe how you just bump that key, guys. Oh yeah. Bump the key yeah. and she fires right up. She just right fires up. right up. She runs great. And she's a 10 speed. Right. Yeah. Yeah, the old ADN I had did not have the little, uh, shifter that you got that speed what is it selecto, selecto speed, speed. Yeah. it did not have that it actually had the uh one right there yeah do you it's, know what year this is man i want to say it was a, he said it was a 68 we'll have to find a serial number but yeah i know that i looked it up this was ford's first automatic transmission oh nice so uh in in a in a farm equipment yeah but, uh, yeah i think the old 8 n i had was a little bit older than this one and uh it, it was a little bit smaller there's your serial number right there yep c5nn6015 so um you have to look that up to see what the what the year was it probably i think the c5 i don't remember i remember when i first bought them I looked them up and the other one is a 68 or a 69. I think this one's about the same. This guy right here. Yep. Yeah, that's the up and down. Yeah. Yeah. And I noticed that there's a PTO knob there yep. to pull to engage the PTO. I also noticed the PTO was engaged all the time. Yeah. When I was uh when I was testing it out. So I don't know what's up with that. I don't know if that if there's some way to actually disengage it using that, I never even looked it up. But I know if you fire it up right now, the PTO is spinning. Mm -hmm. And um, the three-point hydraulics all work. My uh, stepdad actually is pretty familiar with old tractors, so he would kind of be my go-to. I can't remember, but I think that my PTO was very similar with my old tractor, and I think eight in. Yeah, Probably. I think I think it's a uh, one of those things where it's hard to do a bush hog on it because it will just push you into a, a, a tree because it's always spinning a little bit. So I think so. So I'm gonna have to do some research. I, I forget what, it, what he called it back then, but I do remember something about that. But there's got to be a way to disengage it. Yeah, it's got that lever up there that says yeah. PTO on yeah. it. I don't know if you pull it and twist or whatever. Yeah. We'll figure it out. A little Google I'm, action. No, YouTube. <laughs>
we're gonna YouTube some stuff. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> I tell you what, that's a fine shirt you got on there, Mr. Like Mike. Yes, yes, yeah. that is fine. Well, come on with it. I come picked on. it up at a yard sale. Oh, yard sale. Uh -huh. Probably for a nickel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely beautiful tractor. I appreciate it, guys. Absolutely love it. And uh, we're definitely going to put it to work. That's right. Because uh, Mike told me if I don't put it to work, he'll come repo it. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a trailer to put that thing on. <laughs> I tell you what, it's got a nice, it's sitting on a nice trailer there. That, that is, is nice one trailer. nice trailer right there. That's a nice trailer. <sighs> All right, Tim, be careful. There's a new blue tractor in town. Come on. <laughs> good morning, good morning. Well, I'm the first one up this morning out here in Mississippi. Head old three Mississippi. They have got it looking absolutely gorgeous out here, guys. Absolutely gorgeous. They have been busy and hard at work. Uh, me, Mike, and Mike stayed up pretty late last night. And I fell asleep and I actually only got about four hours of sleep. For some reason, my body just did not want to sleep. Check this out though, guys. Mike has been busy. He has got all kinds of starts. That is all different types of tomatoes right there. You got different types of peppers and the cool thing is is he's going to give me some of them so i am looking forward to it whenever he gets up we're going to go through them go ahead and get them loaded and then i got to get on the road because i still got quite a bit of driving to do so yeah but i tell you what i absolutely love love their place here how can you not love that? Got the sun rising right over there. Big open grass yard with a massive pine tree there in the front yard. And all kinds of beautifulness back there. Can't show you a whole lot of the backyard because uh, they got some stuff going on back there. You definitely want to go check out their channel at 3 Mississippi because uh, they're building a pretty impressive structure there in the backyard. But you're gonna have to go to their channel and check it out. And I will say, it's probably one of the most impressive ones that I've ever seen. I tell you what though, the old Chevy there looks amazing with the old Ford tractor on there. Mm. It sure is nice. Mike, Sid, and Frankie is always such great host whenever I come to visit. They make me feel like family. They always cook me some good groceries, always. We had some ribeyes last night that was mm, mm, so good. And uh, old Sid, she loves her flamingos. There's flamingos everywhere. <laughs> you would think you was on the beach and not in the middle of a field <laughs> but it's pretty cool i like it when people have stuff that they like to collect and stuff that kind of is a signature to them and flamingo <laughs> that's definitely sid all right i'll bring y'all guys back when everybody wakes up hey Come on. Come on. Culprit. Culprit. Ready to go on the ground. I like so peppers. What we'll do is we'll pick a tray here. So what kind of tomatoes do you guys like? Uh, all of them. You like slicing tomatoes? I like them all. Cherry tomatoes? I like them all. Okay. <laughs> what I, about, don't, I don't discriminate on the taters. What about <laughs> Mel and Gary? Do uh, I don't know. Um, I say give me a variety. I'd like the yeah. uh, the red kind. <laughs> we do have some uh, yellow. yellow ones. Yeah. Green tomatoes, fried green tomatoes. Okay, so that's a that's a Roma. You like Romas? Yep. 
I told you I don't discriminate yeah, on right tomatoes. Now, going through all the tomatoes and all the plants, trying to figure out which one he's going to send back with us. Kind of like Christmas or your birthday. You know, it's good to have a, a master gardener on speed dial. That's yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, and he started all these from seed. Because he's the he's the plant whisperer. The plant whisperer. I'm the plant killer. <laughs> yes, you are. Hey, y'all are a perfect combination though, because you got the animals on lock. He's That's got right. the gardening on lock. That's right. And Frankie's got the work on lock. Right. <laughs> clean. You know why, guys? Because she's hourly. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That All right, so these right here, definitely. these are your cherry buzz. Oh, I'll, nice. I'll straighten them up. Okay. I think we're going to... Sounds like a cola. Cherry buzz. <laughs> and now when you plant these things, you want to pinch off a whole bunch of these leaves like this, yeah. right? All the way down. And you want to bury this thing as deep as you can. Oh wow! See all those little little hairs? Yeah. Every single one of them little hairs on that stalk will turn into roots. Oh nice! So oh. the deeper, if I was planting this, I'd plant it all the way to there. Good. That's to how know. deep I'd put this. I'm glad I'm videoing this so I don't forget it. I was just thinking the same thing. Right. Because I always heard the opposite about planting. Like, don't go up past this. <laughs> you know, I was telling myself, sell that old Mike. He's all right. Then send a tractor up to come on mountain and the plants. I think he's wanting me to work, guys. I think he's trying to get me to work. <laughs> Frankie said, "Don't take my hourly now. Yeah, don't, <laughs> don't, don't, don't take my hourly." Frank, Tom, Tom, uh, you might be the milkman, but I know how to milk it. <laughs> like I'm gonna get that paycheck. <laughs> so, Mike, what got you into gardening, man? Man, I I, I don't know that I know. Hmm. I just. I just enjoyed it. Uh, I probably planted something at some point, and had and and liked it, liked watching it grow, and and then maybe, you know, had a little challenge with something, and did some research and figured out how to solve that, and liked that, so kept going. Let's see here. He likes challenging things. That's why he's yeah. married to me. That's right. True. <laughs> True. Hey, this one's got some kind of a French name. Oh, do swear uh, I wear. Hore de bio, whatever. Oh, <laughs> I'm very limited on my French. Yeah, me too. Um, we oui, we oui. French fry, French toast. Mm -hmm. um, that's French about, fry, French that's toast. That's about the extent of it. I didn't take French in high school. I only took Spanish. So Frankie, what got you in the garden? Then? Was it the hourly? It was dad. Uh, <laughs> it was the hourly. It was that paycheck, it guys. Was dad's wallet. <laughs> it was that paycheck. <laughs> I used to do it when I was little at like the old old house before we had the YouTube channel way before we had the YouTube channel I was like what three four or younger and than that you were like two and, and a half when in he the was garden. still in music I would do garden stuff I tell you what though you already got it figured out because you know we worked for a long time to be able to work from home and you're starting out working from home that's right so yeah, I mean you're ahead of the curve I promise that yeah. <laughs> To not have to spend any gas money. Punch a clock. You ain't got to punch a clock. Co-workers. Man, somebody to I mean, you do have to deal yes, with it. Yeah, yes, yeah. Yes. I, I'm sorry. You do have to deal with that. Maybe you should go punch the clock. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see here. We're going... Do you like super, super hot peppers? I'm, brother, I'm I'm white on the outside, brown to the core. Oh, the lay about the... <laughs> that right there is a Trinidad Butch T scorpion Ooh, nice, pepper. Nice, nice. That's gonna light you up. I've Let's... heard of those scorpion peppers. I'm gonna send you with a couple of those. Nice. And then these these cayennes, man. These are this is one of the best varieties of cayenne peppers I've grown. So a few of those. You think Mel and Gary gonna want any cayennes? Do they, do they eat spicy? Yeah. You eat spicy. I like cayenne pepper. I mean, These are I, spicier than normal cayennes. I don't, I don't necessarily pepper. eat peppers themselves, but I do like to cook with them. Okay, Alyssa loves peppers. Well, we um, take the cayenne and we dehydrate them. And then That's something I, I like to take a bunch of different types of peppers, sweet and hot, and I make like a sweet salsa type. The mm -hmm. sweet with a back end of heat, and oh my god, it's amazing. You better make me some salsa. And, and just like, mountain. what is it that uh, Frank's hot sauce thing or whatever mm -hmm. that says you can anything? Right. <laughs> you know, it's one of those type deals. Let's take these to the truck real quick. Ba -da -ba -ba -da. Look at all that. All these groceries in one hand. You're gonna clear a spot in the back seat for these? No, actually, I think we're going to put them in the back of the truck and we're going to put the cover on it. Ah, yeah.
put them up towards the front if you would there michael Well, I am super, super thankful for Mike and Sid and Frankie hooking us up with some pepper plants and some tomatoes. I'm looking forward to it. It'll be the first things that we are growing on Come On Mountain and it's going to come from three Mississippi. Are you going to church? Give me some love. Get some Jesus in you, girl. Uh, <laughs> we fancy. We fancy up in here. Thank you so much oh, for the hospitality, of guys. Today's high. We're glad you guys were able to make it. Oh, yeah. It was good to meet you guys. <laughs> good to meet you too. So glad we got to meet. Oh. And we'll see you guys at the meetup. And then we will see you guys on, on the Come mountain. on, Mount. That's, That's right. right. I really appreciate the hospitality, of the good course, food. Of course, anytime. I love to make people fed and happy. And, and you, you do a very good job at it. Good, Super good. impressed by all the things you guys got going on out here. But the one thing I'm most impressed no matter what is the way you guys have raised Frankie oh, yeah. she is spot on I I've never that. met a young woman or really a young child with as much responsibility mm -hmm. and as far as being mature for her age and everything like that I mean I, I thought she was 16 you know? I know, <laughs> she was like, I know. I'm 16, I'm I've only met age. one and that's my son Levi mm -hmm. and yeah, I tell them all the age. time that she reminds me so much of my son Levi at that age. It just blows my mind. Yeah, she's a good kid. We got lucky. Man, yeah. Most and important uh, job we ever had. What's what going on? That awesome shirt, man. I really just want to say thank you again. Absolutely, man. Oh, it's, good, good, it's good to finally meet you. That's right. Brother. Brother. <laughs> I love you, man. Huh? Appreciate everything. It's been a I'm very excited that the tomatoes and the peppers are going to be the first thing grown right. on Come On Mountain. I'm excited. Yeah. Little, little three Mississippi yeah. on Putting a little three Mississippi <laughs> on there. I'm going to keep some seeds on it and go and keep that uh, going. Next season, I'll do the same thing. I'll just I'll just start enough seeds for yep. y'all up there, and then on a on a sometime on a springtime trip, you just yep. grab a couple. Well, flies. you know I'm coming. That's right. Hey, I'm the most. I'm the most traveled guy on YouTube <laughs> in, in this community, trust Easy me. Easy now. <laughs> There's some YouTube channels, all they do is travel. Well, no, I said in this community. There you go. In this community. Oh, man. All right, guys. Well, y'all enjoy getting y'all some Jesus. That's right. And uh, we're going to get on the road. Right on. Okay, you guys Later, guys. guys. Drive careful. Yes. Love you.
What a trip. What a trip. What a trip. Man. Woo. Look at that, guys. You can't beat that. Can we get a red? Can we get a blue? <laughs> Can we get a red, red, blue? Well, hey there, Miss Lorena Day. Hi. What do you think about the new tractor? I like it. Yep. I like the color of it. You like the color? Me too. Well, it made it, guys. That was a six plus hour trip, about seven hours after gas and everything. Yeah, it, seven hours. Yep. And look. R Ryder is already inspecting, making sure the tires didn't get wore out. Ryder. 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 <laughs> I think Ryder might smell the other cat over there at Three Mississippis like, where's dad been? Where's dad? But it made the trip. Everything went well. The chains did real good. As you can see, still tight even after that bumpy driveway this tractor just took its first trip up the come on mountain drive as y'all just seen and that is one of the main reasons for this tractor sitting on the mountain is to help maintain that road so i don't have to take the backhoe off of uber in order to keep the road maintained oh, this is a ford 3000 uh, i've already got my dad kind of looking into the year and the model and all of that because we're gonna fix some of the little odds and end things on here first thing we're gonna do is get a new seat on that sucker because it's a little bouncy over here but this thing runs like a scalding dog but we're gonna say hi to everybody for a minute and then we will get her unloaded and we'll end this video up what do y'all think about the new tractor <laughs> It's blue. I call it blue. Isn't it? Her name is Lyft. Lyft. You know how you have Ubers and Lyft? Oh, it's one of those. Um, so that's Lyft. Yeah. And Tally. It's one of those things. What's that? What is it? Oh, I know what those are. Here, you can hang this on your backpack. I know what that is. I know what that is. Is that for his birthday? No, it's yes. just because I thought about you guys while we were gone. Wait, I know what this is. It's because your daddy loves you. What do you think, Ryder? Do you like the new tractor? So guys, I'm gonna go guys, I tell you what, we've only been gone for the weekend, and the grass is starting to come in. And look at my backyard. I gotta cut grass. Maybe I should have brought back Kenny. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding, Mike. Love you, brother. Hi, I know somebody that's ready for me to be home. These guys right here. Are y'all hungry? I'm home. I'm home. All right, guys, it's the next morning, and we're going to go ahead and get lift off the trailer. Oh, I'm excited about this, guys. I went ahead and took the chains off. I got the front tires aired up because they was a little bit low. Still need to drop the ramps, get her fired up. And she's going to touch down on Come On Mountain for the first time.
All right, guys, it is official. The Ford 3000 is officially on Come On Mountain. I am happy, guys. I'm excited. We got Ryder over here already expecting the new piece of equipment. And we also got the inspector herself, Midnight, coming to check out the situation. Let's take a little closer look at it. Uh, we ended up putting brand new tires on both sides of old lift and that is the name of the new tractor guys being that we have uber over there now we have lift we got your ride share covered what do you think about it rider checking it out oh yeah curious huh oh curious kitty yeah you like it what was that that's a real blue tractor you heard him tim i like it though i believe that this is a three-cylinder diesel if i'm not mistaken it's probably about a 1968 i'm thinking i'm gonna have to do a little research pull the numbers on it had a little bit of trouble getting it off the trailer it really wasn't wanting to find reverse it actually had, it's a 10 speed it has 10 10 uh, forwards and three reverses and uh, I could see the light with neutral, but every time I shifted it into reverse, it wanted to go forward. But eventually ended up getting it. And once I got it off the trailer, I played with it a little bit and kind of found the sweet spot that it needs. And uh, all three reverses are working. But she's nice, guys. She's nice. I will be going through it eventually and uh, fixing anything that I think that needs to be fixed. I can see right here that we got a little bit of leak right here in this area. I don't even really know what all of these switches are for quite yet. So I'm gonna need to do some research, familiarize myself with the tractor. But the number one reason for this tractor is this right here, guys, the three point hitch. Because with the back of, on the back of Uber, it is a pain in the rump shaker to take that off to be able to use all of these other attachments that I have. I have had these attachments for over a year now and i have never used them i bought this one right here used but all of these right here do not have a scratch on them they have never been used they are brand spanking new we have a i believe this is a five foot tiller we got a six foot box blade and we got a six foot titan bush hog and that is the number one reason for this blue tractor to be on come on mountain is to run all of the three point attachments here that way we can start getting stuff done without having to take the backhoe off because i still have months and months of stuff that i need to do with the backhoe so this right here is going to allow me to divide and conquer and also when we're working on the road i could be digging the ditches with uber and mike can have the box blade on here and start leveling out behind me as i add dirt to the road so it is going to be essential a game changer i told you guys it was going to be a game changer with this little trip that i just took i want to go and give a personal personal thank you and much much love to three mississippi mike sid frankie i cannot thank you guys enough this right here is going to make my life so much easier and it's definitely a game changer for come on mountain but guys, it has been quite the trip and I got quite a bit to do. I got to get Uber fixed. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video. So until we see each other again, guys, come on. Ha <laughs> ha, let's go on another adventure.